How many of you out there know the difference between constructive criticism and a clueless commentary? Now, you're probably sitting there going, what in the hell are you talking about? Let me give you the difference. When I'm talking about uh, constructive criticism, that's kind of the easy one. But sometimes people tend to confuse the two. First of all, when you're, when you're receiving constructive criticism, first of all, remember the source. That's the most important thing. Because usually the people who have a legitimate interest in loving you and seeing you grow or they're excited about your idea are going to give you feedback that can build upon what you're trying to do and help you propose move, move your ideas forward. The one thing you have to remember is that any criticism is constructive if it constructs, meaning what does construction do? It builds. If the criticism that you're receiving is helping you build on what you're trying to do, then it is by inherently constructive. But first you want to look at who's giving it to you because the validity of what you're hearing is going to be magnified by who is actually giving that to you. So that's the first thing. Second of all, is it constructive? Is it helping you grow? Is it helping you build on what you're trying to do? For instance, if you're trying to, let's say the idea is that you're trying to build a network of individuals. If somebody tells you going to this particular source makes no sense because the people there are not going to be inclined to do what you want to do. But if you go over here, you can have a better result. Or if they tell you, the group you're going to may get you there, but your pitch is not working right. You need to change your pitch, then you get better results. It's, it's constructive. It's helping you build. Most people think that when somebody gives you criticism, that that criticism automatically is validated by who gives it to you. But if the person, look at the relationship, and it's either one or two, usually one and two or one or two, look at the relationship. And secondly, does it help you build on what you're trying to do? The other thing I call it is what I call clueless commentary. Why do I call it clueless? One, if somebody is not speaking from at least from a knowledge. Now, here, here's the thing. I'm not saying everybody has to know everything. I've got great feedback and suggestions from people who didn't have an idea what the hell I was doing. But go back to my original points about helping me build. They were so committed to helping me build, they forced me to look at things different. There are people out there who are clueless about what you're trying to do. They don't necessarily have to do what you've done, but they're clueless about your desire and your energy to get there. So what they do is, they we say it all the time about throwing shade. What they do is they give you their feedback, thinking that by sharing this feedback, they're helping you, not realizing that they're hurting you. Now, there's going to be some people out there, they know that's what they're doing, that they're hurting you. But the reality is what they're sharing is actually not helping you, it is hurting you. So when I say clueless, it's not because I'm saying they're dumb or they're ignorant. What I'm saying is that they're coming from a position, either one, they don't have an idea of what you're trying to do, meaning they have no experience in the area, or more importantly, they have no idea of the energy of what you're trying to do, plain and simple. So if they're not, if they're not one, they don't have any you know, literal knowledge, or if they don't have the energetic or emotional investment in what you're doing, then as far as I'm concerned, they're clueless. So that's the first part. The second thing is the commentary. What did I tell you the difference between constructive criticism and commentary? Constructive is, does it build? When people give you commentary, they're not trying to build. What they're trying to do is they're trying to dump. If they're sitting here spending all their time basically just kind of telling you, oh, let me tell you why you shouldn't do this because, you know, I don't make, that doesn't make any sense. They, they want to use that time to use their energy to basically dump onto you all the things of why you can't do it. Not giving you one, not even one mention of what you could do to improve upon it. Because they've already decided that what you're going to do is not worth it. They've already decided what you're going to do is garbage. They've already decided what you're going to do is not going to succeed. So what they want to do is they want to pile on that, knowing or not knowing that in their, in, inevitably they want to stop what you're trying to do. Because at the end of the day, they don't want you to be any further along than them. Now, they're never going to say it to your face. They're never going to admit that to you. But the reality is that's what's really going on. So when you're trying to get feedback for something you're trying to do, make sure you identify, is it one of two things? Is it constructive criticism or just clueless commentary? And if you, and once you can learn how to identify which one is which, you'll quickly know when you need to decide who you need to speak to about certain things.